Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Um, as you may or may not have noticed, I did not do a Half Price Wednesday haul because I wasn't able to go. Uh, my son had to use my car for work. Um, he actually uh, totaled his vehicle in September. Um, not his fault, though. Someone uh, plowed into him going 45 miles an hour while he was at a stoplight. So he wasn't able to find a vehicle yet. So uh, anyway, I got to put my defrosters on in here. Um, so I wasn't able to go Wednesday. However, today I am on my way to a couple of estate sales. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to find some good stuff and hopefully it'll be reasonable, reasonably priced. So right now, I am trying not to talk while people are looking at me because they might think I'm talking to myself. Um, <laughs> just pulled into Tim Hortons, so. I don't know what this guy's trying to do. Let me back up. Holy hell. They just barrel on in here. They don't even care. Um, yeah, so um, I'll get my coffee and we'll be on our way. And I'll get back with you when we get to the sale. All right. I have returned. I got my Tim Hortons. And, of course, I had to go to the gas station because my son left my car on fumes. Go figure. I hope he knows he's giving me 10 bucks when I get home. So, right now, it is 9-12, and um, the house is right here across the street. I'm just waiting to see if I see any signs of life before I... Um, I mosey on in so um, if I get a chance I can try to film inside um, we'll see what happens see you in a bit okay so we are out of estate sale number one and I'm freezing it is 43 degrees right now and they had the sale outside I'm frozen um, I did get a few things. I spent like 14 bucks. Not too bad. So um, I'm going to sit in my car in the heat for a few minutes. I'm going to drink my Tim Hortons. And then I will go on to the next sale. I have about 15-20 uh, minutes before that one starts. So I'll get back at ya. All right, everyone, uh, as you saw at the last estate sale, the prices were up there. It killed me to leave that set of Pyrex primary color mixing bowls. $48 is not happening. So I did get a few things, um, which I'll show you um, in the haul. And now, guess where I'm at? I don't know if you guys can see. Probably not. No. Um, I'm at the Goodwill. We're going to see what color tag it is today. And if I can find any goodies for a dollar. It's Dollar Saturday at the Goodwill. Whatever color the tag was for the week, anything with that color tag on Saturday is a dollar. So let's go see what we can find. Okay, first thing I saw was this primary color mixing bowl, but it is in terrible shape. So we're not getting that. Um, oh. 
Oh, it's not purple though, it's blue. So it's not a dollar. Well, then just, that's not what you need right now. It's not a dollar. No. Hmm. What is this? Oops, sorry, honey. Checking out what they got. You never know. I mean, I hope you're not going to be traumatized. You know, you're going to be like that. You need something like that. Okay, everyone, I am like so excited right now. I went in the Goodwill. I wasn't even in there 15 minutes and I ran into um, a very good friend of mine's sisters and they told me about a thrift store that is in one of our old churches here and they're open every Saturday from 10 to 1 and there's multiple floors and everything so I'm here now and I'm about to go in and um, if I can I'll do some filming inside I'm like so excited oh my god all right I'll be back oh my god holy cow This is crazy. Oh my God, I am so excited. I'm just gonna film for a little bit so I can, I can look. Oh wow. This is why I, my hand hit the button and shut it off. Wow, look at the milk glass. Wow, oh my God, look at this lamp. Four dollars, look at that. Oh my God. All right, guys. I can't shop and film, so. Halls. I don't know. I might be getting this, guys. Avon. I don't have much battery left, so I just wanted to show you this room that's full of Christmas stuff. It's like insane. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be here for a while. I'll catch you guys later. All right, guys. Here we are. <laughs> Yes, indeed. I had some fun today. I have a new favorite place to go now. I 
I just cannot tell you how excited I am about this place. You just can't imagine the stuff that is in this place. So let me stop yapping and let's get right into this haul because it's going to take a little while. Okay guys, how we doing? <laughs> I am exhausted, let me just tell you this, and um, <laughs> I had a ball today. I, I really, really did. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm like so thirsty, and it's been a long day, and I'm actually partaking in a cocktail. <sighs> Alrighty, so, I went to two estate sales today, and... Um, the first one I went to um, really wasn't that great. Um, I spent $14, and um, it was outside. It was 43 degrees out, and I couldn't wait to get out of there, and the lady was just like talking and talking and talking. Meanwhile, I can feel like the ice crystals forming on my feet <laughs> and my fingertips. But anyways, so... I went to that one first. Um, the second one I went to, as I said in the vlog, that the prices were up there. Um, I did pick up a few things there, uh, not really too much. And I went to the Goodwill. And as I'm looking around, around the corner comes my, my girlfriend Nancy's sister Fran. And her other sister, Dina. And they proceed to tell me about our old church here, uh, Holy Trinity Church. It was also a school. So in that part is a thrift store. It's got two floors. The second floor is all Christmas items. And the first floor is clothing, hard goods, furniture, all that type of thing. So I couldn't get out of the Goodwill quick enough, okay? I finally got there, and I can't even say that I got a detached retina. I mean, I had a detached head because I just couldn't take it all in quick enough. It was insane. So let me quit yapping, and I'm just going to show you I only got two things. Oh, yeah, okay, huh? Honest, I only had two sips out of that drink. I only got two things at the Goodwill. I got this really nice um, juice decanter. It's got the, the lid with the rubber. It was regularly $5.39, and I got it for half price. Anchor Hocking. Um, I really, really, really uh, was waiting for this to go on sale. So I grabbed this. And the other thing that I got that I was very excited about, I was excited and disappointed at the same time. Um, I got a lot of stuff here, so I'm going to have to be standing up, guys. Sorry. Um, let me get this over here so you guys can see them. Oh, all righty. I got two, three, actually. Pyrex refrigerator dishes. This one doesn't have the lid, however, so that's where the disappointment comes in. Um, who knows, maybe I'll be able to find a lid somewhere. Um, they're in very good condition, really. I'll accept on this one, there are a couple of uh, scratches, but overall, these are in great condition. Um, I was very, very excited to find these um and i paid 5.39 for the three pieces and i didn't think that was too bad so that was it for the goodwill because i peeled out of that parking lot to go over to the church all right i am back uh really didn't think you'd want to you know look at my uh torso so um i paused the video to bring everything over this way 
Um, okay, so um, the sale that I went to that was outside. Uh, I will show you the things that I got from there. And I'm trying to remember what I spent. I think I spent $11. Um, I got this bag of things to put in um, a bowl on my table for fall. Uh, those were a dollar. Got this first Starbucks uh, mug that I have found while thrifting. And this is a nice one and it has the lid. It's in excellent, excellent condition. I was very excited to find this. I think I only paid a buck for it too. All right, I'm just trying to move these things out of my way. Um, I also found this Pyrex uh, gravy boat and the underplate. Uh, I think this is the woodland pattern. And I think this was also $1.00. I also grabbed this uh, fake plant. Um, I don't really care about this part um, because it's probably gonna go inside of another pot. Um, but every now and again, I kind of look for uh, fake greenery. So I picked that up. Um, I found this really pretty pedestal uh, bowl um, and I, it's very hard to read what this says on the bottom. Um, I have to get my magnifying glass. Oh, hey, hang on a minute. I forgot I bought one today. Let me see if I can read this. Uh, does no come to mind? No. I can't see it. The lighting in here is horrid. I apologize. But anyways, um, yeah, so I grabbed this. I thought it was really pretty, and I think this was only a dollar as well. Um, she had a box of CDs and cassette tapes. They were 50 cents each, so I grabbed uh, this one, a Halloween one. Got all the songs from uh, different Halloween movies. I grabbed The Who. Love me some Who. I got some 70s, 80s Rock the Planet. Yes, they do. My favorite decade of music ever. I got Billboard's Greatest Christmas Hits. This one has some great songs on here. White Christmas, Let It Snow, Rudolph. So I'm very glad. I love to listen to Christmas music. And Daughtry, still sealed. Still sealed. Alrighty. So then I grabbed, she had some jewelry. I grabbed There we go. Winnie the Pooh watch for my daughter. Um, I just have to put a battery in it and hopefully it works. It even says Pooh on the back. So I got that. Um, I grabbed this three punch hole puncher. Um, really, it's really, really a nice one. I was very excited to see this because the one I had, um, I dropped it and broke it. And I couldn't figure out how to put it back together again. So I filed it under G for garbage. And um, found me another one today, which was awesome. Um, let me see. And I think I got just three more things. She had this bag uh, of leaves, and I'm not exactly sure 
what they're for. Um, I don't know. They're just, they're so pretty. And I thought, you know, with it being fall now, they would be so pretty to use in my decorating. Um, and speaking of which, um, I am going to have a, an, an upcoming um, video just showing all of the fall uh, decor that I have thrifted and um, a kind of like a little tour so you guys could see um, how I decorated for fall. So they came in like the green and this color and then this pretty dark orange. So I grabbed those. And I also grabbed, I thought this was really pretty. Very pretty planter. I love the colors. It was 50 cents. I love it. In fact, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, my mom um, redid her living room and her um, couch and everything are in like the um, like real light teal um, colors, like pale, pale, teal, aqua. And then she has some of the darker colors like this as accents. So maybe she might want this to put in the living room. So that's a good idea. I'm glad I thought of that. Um, and then I grabbed, is this the last thing? I believe so. I got this uh, old Barbie. They had a price of $3 and uh, she gave it to me for two bucks. Um, I don't know if she's worth anything. I mean, you know, I don't have the box or anything like that. But um, I thought, you know what, for two bucks I'll grab it and um, I'll do a little research and find out. But she's in good, she's really, oh, okay. Honest to God, guys, look, look, look. There's, there's hardly anything missing out of there. <laughs> I just can't talk today. I, I can't talk on a normal day. Um, she is in really good condition. So we'll see what happens with, uh, with her. Okay, so that was it for the outdoor freeze my butt off estate sale. So now we move on to the second one that I went to. Um, and as you saw in my vlog, um, they had the, the Pyrex bowls for $48. I'm like, holy cow. So I didn't get a whole lot there. Um, I'm thinking I might go back tomorrow to see if those bowls are there. And then, um, I don't know. I got so much to do around here, I probably won't. But anyways, I got this really nice roll of uh, Christmas wrapping paper for a dollar. And it is, let's see, 90 square feet. So you can't go wrong. It's really pretty. It's got a pretty pattern on there. So, whoops, put that over there. Um, I got this for my mom as well because I thought this would go in her living room. Two dollars. It's very pretty. It's got the fluted top. Love the color. Love it. Then I got uh, a couple sets of um, dishcloths. Uh, these were five for a dollar fifty. They're all brown. Then I got, these were three for a dollar, and these were three for a dollar. And they're brand new, brand new. Um, of course, I'm gonna wash them first because they don't, they have that like sizing on them or whatever, so they don't, they don't absorb at all until you wash them. So I grabbed those. I grabbed this magnifying glass for $1.50. Um, I just really liked the, the handle. It's really cool. I don't know if this is Bakelite or what it is, but I just, I really liked it, so I grabbed it. Sorry, didn't mean to blind you there. Um, I got, oh my God, I know. Now I'm like blinding you with this bulbous head and my bun. Um, I got two sets of sheets. 
Um, I really needed some sheets. I have a queen size bed and I have only like maybe f five um, sets of sheets. So, and these are vintage. Um, I got this set. Love the colors. They're so pretty. Um, they were $2 a set. You got the flat sheet and the fitted sheet and the pillowcases. But this particular set did not have um, any pillowcases with it. But that's okay. I don't care. Um, not a big deal. So I got that set. And then I got... Uh, I got this set as well. This set was two fifty. Very pretty. And this one came well. Maybe it was two fifty because it had this one had the pillowcases. <laughs> so I got that set, and then that was it for the sheets. Um. Then I just got some uh useful things. I got a can of end dust. For a dollar and it's full I got uh, let me bring this over here I got a box of uh, wall anchors and screws for a quarter a pair of scissors for a quarter some super glue gel for a quarter throw these back in the box over there and then I got two um, this one is unopened, uh, rolls of uh, Reynolds Wrap foil, heavy duty. This one's 37 and a half square feet. This one is opened, but it doesn't really feel like there was much used out of it, and it's the same size. And I paid a um, dollar um, a box. All right. So, that was it for estate sale number two. Now we get into the church stuff. Oh my God. I'm telling you guys, I cannot wait. I'm like so excited for next Saturday because I didn't get there till it was like 1130, I want to say, or thereabouts. And they're only open from 10 to 1. So I didn't really have a long time to look. And trust me, you would need like weeks to look through everything in this church. So actually, um, the one kid came up and said, oh, it's 102, we're, we're getting ready to close. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. So I brought all my stuff down and cashed out. All right, let me get this out of my way here. Put this back over here. All right, so let's get into my church stuff. All right, first off, um... This is not a Bystel. It is actually um, made by Eureka. I don't know how old it is, but um, I just love the vintage um, decorations. So I picked him up. And these things here are Bystel. This is a mobile decoration. And it's got Santa, the train, and, whoops, <laughs> the elf. And I actually, I have the package for it. And it says right on there, a Bystel creation. Um, I don't know if there is a year. Oh, this is from 1982. So it's old, but it's not that old. Okay, so I grabbed that. Let's see if I could get it back in here. Maybe, maybe not. Alrighty. Then I grabbed um, these. This is from 1980. And these are <laughs> the uh, tissue paper fold out um, decorations. So I grabbed these two packages. Um, I grabbed this Walt Disney one. This is a Eureka one. That's what he looks like. I got this one for my daughter. 
and I got this one as well. This is also Eureka. He looks like this. There he is. Whoop, upside down. <laughs> and these are, you know, in the packages. I mean, they're in excellent shape. Um, so I got those. Put these out of the way. I also got a um, 28 by 40 decorative flag uh, to put outside for Christmas. That's what the flag looks like. I think it's so cute. Pick that up. Um, I got a roll. Let me take it out of this bag so you could really appreciate it. Because, oh my God, this bag. It's beautiful ribbon. It's wired ribbon. And it's... <laughs> fallen on the floor. Beautiful uh, poinsettia ribbon. So I grabbed that because I, you know, as you know, I'm a crafter. So, and the prices that they want for ribbon is ridiculous. Um, I also got this really pretty uh, linen tablecloth. I think this was $2.00. Everything that I'm showing you right now, I will tell you what I spent at the end. So I got this. Ugh. Um, look at these salt and pepper shakers. Oh my God, how old are these? They're made in Japan. This one, this one has a cork. This one's missing his little cork. And this one has, his little tail is chipped. I don't know if you could see it. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, I thought these were so cute. Oh, and this one says, oh, wow. Crystal Beach, Canada. How crazy is that? Wow. Wow. Got this really cute uh, little Santa, um, I guess you could call it a little plate. He's really cute. He was made in Japan. Vintage, very vintage. I got this very old Santa ornament. <laughs> he has the uh, flocked red suit. I got this set of Santa boot or Santa shoe salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> uh, they're made in Japan. I wish I could have found the other one, but I got this little salt or pepper shaker. She, look at her. She's got a little purse and everything. How cute is she? Oh, look at that face. Oh, my God. And then I found this cute little, just a little girl with a present. She's got that look like, I wonder what's in this box. What's in there? <laughs> Love it. Then I found this girly. Whoops. There. Candle. Santa Claus. Never been used. And I learned about girly candles um, from Miss Stone Home. Um, I don't know her first name, but um, she has an awesome uh, channel. She does a lot of uh, vintage items. Then I got this little item here. I got my little candle lit in there. I thought that was so, so cute. I don't know where this was made. I, let me blow the candle out. I, mean, I don't see anything. Um, I picked <laughs> this bag of ornaments up. And it was a, like a cellophane bag, and the bag disintegrated in my hands. That's how old it was. 
But I do have the top of the bag. Masco <laughs> Christmas decoration, 24 pieces. Um, and these were what was in the bag. These really pretty um, green crystal plastic decorations. So there's those. Um, I got this really pretty black lantern. It came with the candle and the glass candle holder inside. Uh, I got these two, they have to be washed, Starbucks plastic cups, 75 cents each. They're, they're thick. I don't know if you can hear that. Very thick plastic, and then the bottom is like an orangey color. It's kind of cool. So I got those. Um, milk glass. Yes, indeed. I'm sure this probably had a lid at some point, but it was only a quarter. So it wasn't staying there. I was bringing it home. It's got the leaf and grape pattern. So pretty. found this cool little guy plastic he's just really cute um it says there's a date on the bottom 1970 so and he's in pretty good shape he's got a little spot here where the um the paint came off but um I just thought he was really cute and he had such a jolly looking face so I had to grab him Uh, then I found these cradles, and I know these gotta be for Pyrex casserole dishes. Let's see, what does it say on here? Oh no, I'm sorry, Corningware. Oh, these are for the Corningware. So they came in, um, I have two that are this size. And then I got one bigger one. And I figure, you know what? These would be great um, if I come across. Look at, see it says Corningware on there. Can you see that? There it is. Um, yeah. So if I don't sell the Corningware that I have um, and I decide to keep it, then I'll use these with them. All right. Um, I did get this other lantern, wooden lantern. Came with the little uh, votive holder inside. And this is really cool because all you do is lift this and it brings it up so you could change the candle and just lower it back down. And it looks like it was handmade and I love it. This is awesome. All right. He's got a pull cord. Check it out. <laughs> I said, oh my God, I'm getting that. He's awesome. I don't know how old he is. I haven't really looked anywhere for a date, but I don't care. I love it. I tried not to pull the string too um too much because then he'll never shut off. Um then I got this guy. Let me get him. Well, <laughs> he's plugged in. I forgot I plugged him in. Anyways, it is um, the Santa head. He's plastic. And I paid 75 cents for him. So he's awesome. I know it's kind of hard to see. Maybe I could unplug it. Show it. I'll show it to you unplugged in a minute. This is a Bystol snowman. 
Um, he was 10 cents. He was a little bit bent because he was in a box, or not a box, in a bin with a bunch of other stuff. But for the most part, I mean, he's really in great shape. He really is. Um, there's not a whole lot of tape. There's a couple spots right here on the front. But really, he is in excellent shape. And um, I haven't done any research yet to see what year um, that he came out, but I'll have to do an update. He does have a little, cre he has a crease here unfortunately but really that's like the worst spot on this whole thing so oh there we go and <laughs> and this is the season's greetings i was so happy when i plugged it in and it worked so this is going to go right in my living room window at christmas time Okay, uh, you know what, guys? I think that's it. Wow. So, for all the stuff that I just showed you, I think I paid $18 plus tax. And I think I got quite a bit of stuff um so i was very very pleased um and like i said i am so excited to go back next next saturday and i'm probably gonna take my mom with me she always goes how come you never call me when you're going hey settle down down there when you're going to the estate sales i'm like mom i'm up and out of the door by like 8 8 30 She's not even up yet, you know, and then she's got to have her coffee, you know, like I do and, you know, wake up and then she likes to eat breakfast and by then everything will be gone. But seeing that this starts at 10, I'm hoping, you know, that she'll be all good to go by 10 o'clock. So I'm definitely going to ask her to come with me uh, next Saturday. So, guys, I hope you like this haul. This is a long video. Um, so yeah, um, if you like these kind of videos, please consider subscribing and hit that like button. And um, I do a lot of haul videos. I'm a, I'm a huge thrifter. I love, love, love thrifting. Um, but I also do crafts, DIYs, uh, furniture upcycling. Uh, you name it, I do it. So if that's something that you would be interested in, then please do subscribe. All right, guys, I'll catch you in my next video. Bye for now.